Now to your coronavirus headlines, starting with the new numbers from the state. Michigan adds 1,018 new cases today, 97 more deaths, 82 of those identified in a review of records. Today marks one year since the first known COVID death in the U.S. That was a woman from Santa Clara, California. And Kroger has announced it will give $100 to every employee who gets the coronavirus vaccine. More allegations of sexual misconduct against Dr. Robert Anderson, who worked for decades at the University of Michigan. Pilots now coming forward as victims of the deceased doctor. Anderson was designated by the government as an aviation medical examiner. He is already accused of molesting hundreds of young men at the U of M, especially athletes who saw him for injuries. The University of Michigan has acknowledged, quote, credible allegations against Anderson. Michigan Republican delegates elect Ron Weiser as the state party chairman. This will, in fact, be his third term. Before the vote, then chair Laura Cox accused Weiser of paying $200,000 to a 2018 candidate to drop out of the secretary of state race. Weiser denies the allegation. His running mate, Michonne Maddock, won vice chair. And Maddock helped charter buses to the rally with President Trump in Washington, D.C., prior to the riots at the Capitol. Weiser issued a statement and it reads in part, and this is a quote, Michonne and I are honored and excited to lead the party over the next two critical years. Our overwhelming victory today is just the beginning, the beginning of our road to victory in 2022. The cold is cause for concern for people living along the St. Clair River. They have dealt with devastating flooding caused by ice jams for days and they're afraid the ice isn't going anywhere anytime soon. This, this is just too much. It's unlivable. It's full of water. 